We can't speak about St. Philip Neri without mentioning something about his heart. Have you heard about the heart of St. Philip Neri? When he was a seminarian, he would pray in the catacombs at night. And on the eve of Pentecost one night, he was praying for the gifts of the Holy Spirit and he saw the catacombs open and the heavens open and he saw a ball of fire come down from heaven and it came, he says, into his mouth and went down into his heart and caused his heart to expand and to burn. And it was so hot, he fell to the cold stone ground to try to cool his burning heart. And this experience of the Holy Spirit, the fire coming down from heaven into his heart, changed him for the rest of his life. Since then, he had this overflowing joy. And he would, he would joke around a lot. He made people laugh all the time, over, overwhelmed with joy and love. But this experience of the Holy Spirit coming into his heart also left a physical uh, Im impression on him. Since that time, the doctors noticed there was a protrusion in his chest. And they also noticed that from his ch chest, you could physically feel heat. In the winter, when it was cold, he'd never close his windows. He, he, he was always burning hot. In the, also in the winter, children would come and rest their heads against his chest to warm up. That's how much heat came from his chest. But he also experienced these intense palpitations, especially when people would talk about the things of God. He would begin to shake. It was overwhelming for him. And when he died, the doctors were so curious to see what, what was going on with his heart. So they did an autopsy, and they found that his heart was like almost twice the size of a typical human heart, and especially the artery where the blood flows out of the heart. It was twice the size, it was huge. And not only that, they noticed he had broken ribs, but the ribs were broken out to make room for his expanded heart. So a physical sign was left on his body, just like St. Francis of Assisi with the stigmata. He was marked by the experience he had of the Holy Spirit. So he's a reminder to us that we need to pray for the Holy Spirit and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We need the fire and the power of the Holy Spirit. He's one of the great counter-reformers of the church. He lived in the time of the Protestant Reformation. St. Philip Neri actually somewhat um, sympathized with some of the reformers because the church leadership was scandalous at the time. There was a lot of decadence. The cardinals lived like princes. And some of the, the, the Protestant reformers, they spoke out against that, and Philip Neri, he agreed with them. But Philip Neri knew that the Lord Jesus established the Catholic Church on the rock of St. Peter, and that we had to be faithful to the church. And the, uh, the, Philip Neri was always very respectful of the Pope. And over the decades, he lived to an old age in Rome. Over the decades, he, he got to a point where he was an advisor to the Pope and even spiritual director. And his time in Rome transformed the Vatican and the Curia and the whole city of Rome. They knew that there was a saint in their midst. And because his impact so transformed the Vatican, the Curia, Rome, that affected the whole rest of the world. And so again, we need... He was a priest. He was the founder of a community, the oratory. We need priests who are filled with the fire of the Holy Spirit, filled with the love of God, who are ready to reform the church through the power of holiness.